We've been showing you the fossils that are coming out of dump nine on the surface, and you've seen a lot of hominids, some pigs, uh, a few antelopes, and maybe even some small carnivores that are coming out. I just wanted to give you a, a look at, at where dump nine is. This is dump nine. Here, Toboco is overworking on um, what we call the fossil art wall, or that's the main in situ deposit. I'm just going to pan to the right. It's in this direction that goes out into the amphitheater. And so just to the left of uh, the fossil art wall, you can see dump nine and all of the people working here. And what they're doing is they are individually numbering every single rock that comes out of here. It gets a number nine, which is a nine with a slash underneath it. That way we can tell it apart from uh, dump six, which gets a dot uh, below the six. They do triaging here to try and pick up fossils um, as they're being discovered. So this is the process. They move from here. Uh, and uh, initially, they originally came from the fossil art wall here, blasted out by miners. And then we move them out to our mock-up cave on the surface. Let me walk you through the process of where the material goes from here. After it's been sorted on the uh, dump nine, it's collected into buckets or if it's too large into an individual uh, rock. And then it's handed off in a chain of people which come down this hallway and move between each person. So each person is probably about 20 meters apart to paint on the, the terrain underground and a little closer together on the stairway. It literally is handed from person to person all the way up the staircase and out to the washing station where you've seen the washing and sorting station on the surface. And it's that very simple process that moves the labeled material from one dump to the surface where we actually see if we've made important discoveries. So many of you will remember that uh, just over the last few days in block four from 105, we got what looked like a hominid fibula and there were some other pieces in it. Um, and some of those have now come out and one of them's really spectacular. I just wanna uh, turn the camera around and give you a look at that. So here, this is the block that Boy was preparing. Um, it had the fibula in it right across here and there was another uh, bone that came out now and what that has turned out to be we thought it was a rib at first but it's not it's a beautiful little end of a hominid clavicle that's very exciting these are very rare i particularly like them because uh, i did my phd on the shoulder girdle of hominids which includes the hominid clavicle way back in 1994 and it was the first bone that was ever discovered of australopithecus sediba by by matthew so another lovely beautiful well-preserved uh, fossil coming out of which you can see from the broken in we will almost certainly find that uh, in the blocks that we're getting out right now so more hominid material there's more hominid material in this block and including what might be a distal tibia uh, and uh, more great hominid fossils from the 105 site.